Right guys, it is time for your Europa League preview. Two Scottish clubs remain in European competition. Both the Old Firm Rangers and Celtic will be playing big games tomorrow in the Europa League and Europa Conference League respectively. Rangers hosting Borussia Dortmund in Glasgow and then Celtic flying out to Norway to take on Bodo Glimt. Both ties relatively still in the balance, albeit it's looking a lot better for Rangers than it is for Celtic. That is for sure. We'll talk about the Celtic game first because the Rangers game's the big game. We'll save that for last. But boy, did I get both my predictions wrong last week. So yeah, let's start with Celtic. I thought they would win 3-1. Last week at Celtic Park against Bodo Glimt. It didn't happen. The score was 3-1, but not the way I predicted it. And it was the Fizzers that, in fact, came away with the win and the two-goal lead. Now, I think the only thing that is probably saving Celtic here is that away goals don't count. So even though it was a 3-1 win away from home, it's essentially just a two-goal deficit. Doesn't matter whether it was three away goals or not. Celtic are only two goals behind. If they can get a 2-0 away win tomorrow, then they will be able to force extra time. So that's probably the Celtic's best hope of getting back into this game, to be honest. Uh, this will be only the second competitive game between both sides. And the first tie was the first time these teams had ever met, which is fair enough. Uh, Celtic went into this, though, in great form. Apart from the fact they lost to Bodo Glimp, they're actually going into this, you know, domestically, they have been on fire. So they don't need to worry about the form book. They just need to worry about turning up on the night. Their away form has never been good in Europe. It's been terrible, to be honest. And they're going to need something to change if they're going to get the result that's required to send them in to the next round. Bodo Glimp, in terms of injuries, they are doing absolutely great. They have nothing. They have got a full team to pick from apart from the suspended Nikita Kakin. But apart from that, it's a, it's a full team. They can pick whoever they want. Unfortunately for Celtic, not quite as lucky. We know that Kyogo Furuhashi still isn't going to make it. He's still injured, as is David Turnbull. Two huge players for them. Albion Ajeti is still unlikely to feature. It is doubtful he will play, but again, it is doubtful he would make a difference. Let's be real, guys. Albion Ajeti is hardly the main man at Celtic Park. So I don't think missing Albion Ajeti is a big deal. But yeah, Celtic really could have done with Kyogo Furuhashi and David Turnbull. But they don't have them. As for the Celtic lineup, what can we predict Celtic to line up? Maybe Joe Hart, Ralston, Starfelt, Carter Fickers, Taylor, Rogic, Bitten, Hat Hatate, Jota, Abada, and Maida. That could be the team to go with. Although personally, I would drop Carter Fickers. I don't think no, not Carter or Fickers. Sorry, I would drop Starfelt. Jesus Christ, how can I get those two mixed up? I, I would drop Starfelt. I just think he's a liability at the back and I think Julian is the better defender and I, I would bring Julian back into the team. I think Julian and Carter Fickers would be a better centre-back partnership than Carter Fickers, Carl Starfelt. I get it at the start. I think people jumped on Starfelt too much, too quickly. Yeah, he had a couple of bad games right at the beginning of his Celtic career. And even though he has got a bit better, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to say he's, he's shit. He has got better since then. I just don't think he's... I just don't think he's there. I don't think he's a man to be in a Celtic 11 team. I don't. So uh, I would put Julian back in there. As for my prediction, like I said, Celtic are trailing by two goals. Uh, I don't think... I don't think Celtic will lose. I think Celtic will come out and make a go of this tie. I think I could even go as far as saying I think Celtic will win the game tomorrow. But I don't think they're going to do enough to go through. I don't think they're going to do enough to go through. I'm going to go with Celtic winning this game by two goals to one. I just can't see them overturning the deficit. You know, their away form is terrible. I will give them the benefit of the doubt that they can snatch a win tomorrow, but I don't think it's going to be a big enough win to get them in to the next round. So unfortunately, guys, I'm going to say Celtic 2, Bodo Glimp 1, with Bodo Glimp advancing into the next round. As for Rangers... Unfortunately for them, the away goal sort of worked against them because they could have had four away goals from that massive victory in Germany, but they don't. Again, just like Celtic, Celtic trailing by two goals, Rangers are only leading by two goals. Away goals do not count, so if Dortmund can win 2-0, they're right back in it. And just like that, things will be level. So 
when you when when you put it like that, I mean, it's not like Rangers have got this game done and dusted. You know, this game is still it, it could go either way. Rangers losing even more ground on Celtic in the league, probably not coming into this game. Um, and you know, in the best of form, probably not coming into this game with a shitload of confidence. But I'm sure they'll take confidence for beating Dortmund last time 4-2. Not many teams can do that. As for Dortmund, they bounced back at the weekend with a 6-0 win against Borussia Mönchengladbach, who are a solid team. So it just goes to show you how good Dortmund can be when they beat Mönchengladbach by 6 goals to nil. Rangers' recent result, a 1-1 draw against Dundee United. So... You know, if, it, if the weekend's anything to go by, this should be a cakewalk for Borussia Dortmund, but I'm not sure it will be. Team news, Rangers should have majority of their squad to choose from. Uh, the only players that are really not going to feature are Hadji, who we know is pretty much out for the rest of the season. Balogun is doubtful, but apart from that, Rangers should have a, a full lineup of players to pick. And for Dortmund... It's, un it's undecided yet whether or not Haaland will be back and he could be the difference maker if we're being completely honest here. Having Haaland back could be the difference between Dortmund getting back into this tie and winning it or Dortmund losing it. So we'll see what happens. If Dortmund, it's hard to make my prediction because I don't know whether Haaland's going to be able to play or not. So it, it is hard to decide what I think is going to happen because like Haaland, you know, arguably the best striker in the world, it's... You know, he, him playing makes a massive difference. Although they didn't have him at the weekend and they still managed to win 6-0. So it just goes to show you that they're by far no, not a one-man team. You know what I mean? They're more than that, 100%. As for Rangers, how will the lineup? Predicted lineups could be Alan McGregor, Tavernier, Goldson, Bassi, Borna Barisic, Ryan Jack, John Lundstrom, Arfield, Arebo, Kent, Morelos. Personally, I, I would have Jack and Lundstrom in the middle of the park. I think they've got a good partnership going. They seem to be playing well. Scott Arfield as well, I would have in there. Um, to be honest, I think that predicted lineup is pretty solid. I don't think you can disagree much with that. Uh, that's probably the, the team that I would expect Rangers to line up with. Uh, you could make a case for Ramsey being a big flop, a big failure. Uh, I think these are the kind of games that Rangers fans were getting excited about when they signed Ramsey. They're thinking, God, Ramsey can come in and Ramsey can play a vital part, you know, in our two-legged tie against Dortmund. But at the moment, it's not. it looks like he's playing no part. So, who knows? Maybe <laughs> Giovanni van Bronckhorst could make a shock decision tomorrow. He could start Ramsey. Yeah, you'd think, come on, you think if Rangers have got a chance of beating Dortmund, you, you would want your, you know, your, your huge mega star player there. But for some reason, Ramsey's career just not kicked off yet. As for prediction time... I'm going to go, I'm going to go Rangers 1, Dortmund, oh, I'm going to go Rangers 1, Dortmund 2, uh, I'm going to go Rangers to get in to the next round of the Europa League, I think Rangers will just do enough to hold on and defeat Dortmund, so I'm going to go Rangers 1, Dortmund 2, overall I think Rangers will get through, I think Celtic will not get through, and who knows, it not getting through could be a blessing in disguise. I mean, if one of these teams go through and their old firm counterpart does not, I mean, that's just going to add up to the fixture list and it could play a major part in who wins the league title. Anyway, guys, that's it. Leave, let me know down below. What is your thoughts? What, who do you think is going to win tomorrow? Who do you think is going to go through? Let me know your predictions. And uh, I'll catch you next time. As for... All our SPFL news, as for Hearts news, not a lot happening guys, it's been a very quiet week in Scottish football, so for now, just enjoy this match preview, Europa League preview, probably be back tomorrow to talk about the games, and then we've got more football on the weekend, can't wait guys, but until then, it's been Sun Scotland TV, thanks for watching, and peace.